Hello, my name is Aidan Richards and I'm going to be talking in this video a little bit about how you decide whether the implant is best placed uh, in front of the muscle or behind of the pectoralis uh, major muscle. So here's this little diagram showing the pectoralis uh, major muscle. So it runs down from the armpit here, um, down and joins the uh, ribs, the sternum actually here, and then the ribs here um, and it forms that sort of fold in that area there that you can um, feel. So that's where the pectoralis major runs. There's also another muscle which comes in here called the serratus anterior but when people talk about a dual plane position they mean behind this muscle here which is the pectoralis major but in front of the serratus anterior which is here. So it's dual plane or partial subglandular because it's half under the muscle. Just moving here, so this is the muscle here Okay, and the implant, if you're going from in front, behind the fold here, the implant can either go behind the muscle here or in front of the muscle. How do you decide? Well, it's all really done on the thickness of the tissue here. So if you've got sufficient uh, natural breast tissue here, the implant can go in front of the muscle and there'll be enough covering that you won't see the outline of the muscle. And that's called a subglandular placement. If this distance is below three centimeters, um, we need probably need to go behind the muscle because there's not going to be enough covering in this area and the implant may show through the skin if it's placed in front of the muscle if this distance is under three centimeters. It doesn't matter so much in the lower part of the breast because there's more coverage there um, anyway. So if the implant is placed in front of the muscle, the green uh, area here is the uh, implant, as long as we've got over three centimetres of tissue here, the implant is fine to go in front of the muscle because there's enough coverage here that you won't uh, be able to feel or see the outline of the implant. You won't get that sort of rounded appearance to the top. Um, here, if there's much less tissue, you really need that muscle layer in between the implant and the skin so that you don't see the outline of the muscle and you don't get that rounded appearance at the uh, top of the uh, muscle there. So I hope that's um, uh, made it a little bit clearer for everyone. When we're talking about a dual plane partial submuscular position, it means half under the muscle and that the upper part of the implant, really above the nipple, is covered by the implant. If we're talking about a du uh, dual plane or partial submuscular, it means the same thing. Um, if we're talking uh, about a subglandular um, placement of the muscle, uh, the implant, that means the implant is in front of the muscle, that's the muscle. So this is subglandular placement here, and this is a dual plane partial submuscular coverage. Uh, the old fashioned technique of a total submuscular coverage is not really used anymore, and that's when the pectoralis major muscle covers the upper part and the serratus muscle covers the lower part. But we don't really uh, perform that type of surgery um, except in breast reconstruction after breast cancer now. So I hope that's clearer, and um, the real um, uh, point is how much tissue you have in this area, which I've shown you in other videos um, how to test for, um, but basically by pinching uh, that area gently. Over three centimeters, I would recommend a subglandular placement here, slightly quicker recovery if you've got enough um, tissue here. Under three centimeters in that area, we need to put the muscle over the top of the implant um, to give uh, that extra layer so you won't see or feel the implant um, there. So thanks very much for watching the video. If you're interested in uh, learning more about breast enlargement surgery, please visit our website, aurora-clinics.co.uk. Um, and there's lots of videos and other information um, there. Um, and we've also got uh, podcasts, lots of photographs, patient testimonials, lots and lots of uh, information uh, if you are considering breast augmentation surgery. We've also got an hour-long um, CD on breast enlargement uh, surgery which you can get from the website or you can listen to on iTunes if you uh, search for the cosmetic surgery podcast on iTunes but if you ring us on 01844 214362 we'd be absolutely delighted to send you a CD just repeat that number again 01844 214362 or email us at info info at aurora-clinics.co dot co dot uk thanks very much for watching this short video uh, we hope to uh, see you soon and please feel free to contact us anytime